At the UC San Diego School of Medicine, researchers have been looking at brains, specifically mouse brains, like the ones dissected here in a petri dish. They did this as part of a new study, which looked at what would happen to newborn mice if they were exposed to high levels of nicotine through breastfeeding, something like one to two packs a day. So it's definitely something we want to watch. Davide Dulcis, a psychiatry professor here and lead researcher, says when these mice grew up, they developed a taste for the drug. So they were placed in cages where they had two bottles. So one bottle was just water, and the other bottle is a nicotine saline, nicotine solution. And so it's a voluntary intake. They have to choose whether they want to drink from the water bottle or from the nicotine solution. And what we found was that they want, the mice that were exposed to nicotine early on in the first two weeks of life they would quickly develop this uh, preference for nicotine solution compared to their siblings that have never been exposed to, to nicotine before. Dulcis says these mice were more likely to have addictive tendencies, a finding, he says, could apply to human newborns of mothers who are heavy smokers or nicotine users. That's because when he looked at the brains of mice exposed to nicotine, there were more dopamine cells, which are known for causing feelings of pleasure or happiness. And the brains were creating a type of reward response for nicotine use. So we can actually record uh, in the actual neurons when they are exposed to nicotine. So we perfuse nicotine in the brain section and then we see what happens to these neurons and compare what happens in control versus nicotine treating mice. Dulce says he thinks this research could help scientists create drugs that could block addictive behaviors in humans, especially in children. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.